Detroit is headed for an exciting transition out with the old Joe Louis Arena and the Palace of Auburn Hills and in with the new Little Caesars Arena and the district. But this change brings some pain as well, like the possibility of lost jobs. How many lost jobs is the question for the answers. Let's bring in local four business editor Rod Maloney live downtown. Hey, Rod. Yeah, hey, you know, you know what? It's it's tough to say, okay? I just want to be clear about that. There's a lot of concern, and there's a possibility maybe they won't lose any jobs. We don't know just yet. Take a look at this on my phone here. It says that Joe Lewis employees have started a petition because they're concerned that they may not move from Joe Lewis over here to the district. And so where are we? Let's find out. If you've been in the palace the past six years, you know him, the dancing usher who started this now viral act by accident one night early in his vendor career. I just happened to look up on the, you know, the jumbotron and saw my section and saw me and I'm like, hey, that's me, you know? <laughs> Before I know it, 20,000 people kind of got loud. I'm like, uh-oh, I hope I ain't in trouble. He went on to become a legend, but while doing those mundane things like yard work today, he wondered like many of the 1,000 part-timers and 200 full-timers at the Palace who make your game experience fun, whether he will make the move downtown. Yeah, everybody's kind of concerned about uh, if they're going to be there, if they're going to have a job fair, do they get to start over, are their pay rate going to drop? We went to work and tried to find the answers, but the fact of the matter is no one knows just yet. The Red Wings finished at the Joe Sunday night, the Pistons finished at the Palace last night, and have one more road game in Orlando. There is a joint venture in the works, but it's not completed yet. So the actual worker numbers aren't set and the number of dates aren't set either. The Palace is going to continue putting on summer concerts as well. And they're going to stay open at least for the time being. Still, the dancing usher feels pretty confident that he's going to have a place in Little Caesars Arena. I'm no different than the next person that's working in the kitchen. That's how I feel. And that's great, you know. But I have established my name. So I like to know like everybody else, you know. What he wants to see is his name on a contract, which he doesn't have yet. He says he thinks he's going to get one. In the meantime, we heard from Olympia Entertainment today, and they say that there are a couple of things that we need to know. One is that they have roughly the same number of employees as the Palace does, and there's the possibility that they might have about 1,500 more jobs here than are currently existing at Joe Lewis Arena. But the question is, will everybody from the Palace want to come downtown? So they're taking the step of perhaps having uh, one of those job fairs for people to fill in slots when they have anything that's left over. So there's a lot of room here, but we'll see. So reporting live from downtown, Rod Malone, Local 4. All right, Rod, yeah, you sure hope that the job loss isn't the downside yeah, of that that, whole that, thing. that would really be yeah. horrible. Yeah.